On February 18th of 1967, a group of college retreatants from Duquesne University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, experienced the fulfillment of a promise of God in a mighty way. Wow, David, here we are at the Ark and the Dove Retreat House. Wow. Oh. Welcome home, Patty. <laughs> Thank you, David, glad to be here. <laughs> the first time I entered this chapel, I was a 20-year-old girl. I was on a journey like we all are. 53 years ago, I was a 22-year-old mathematician. I am a radically different man than I was then. So, here we are in the sun parlor. It was a very significant room. God, in his great love, poured out his spirit in a new grace moment. And I'm particularly drawn to the tabernacle. That's just the way it was, the same tabernacle. This is what really struck me, that power is the same root word where we get the word dynamite. I just walked in there and I said, okay, where's the dynamite? We told him, we said, you know, even if none of the other kids want to renew their confirmation, we do. And in fact, we linked our arms. He brought them into both the awareness and the power of the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And one of the professors comes up and says, we have a major problem here. The water pump that brings the water into the facility has broken. Luckily, I had the relay and the capacitor in my truck. How that actually was in my truck, I still don't know. <laughs> and I just yelled the loudest, wildest rebel yell you're ever gonna wanna hear. What is happening here? Are we all? going crazy. You know what it was? The presence. What they had experienced in the sacraments of baptism and confirmation became more alive and real in them. But it's very significant that here in this retreat house, at that retreat, now, now known all over the world as the Duquesne Weekend, there are now an estimated 120 million Catholics who have had this experience. I want to do anything Jesus wants me to do. All I want to know is it's really Him.